Welcome to another episode of Conversations with Clarissa, live from the prayer closet. Um, today I wanted to talk about children who love God. Um, as a mother, um, it was very difficult to understand that my children were watching everything that I was doing and that I literally needed to exhibit the things that I want them to do because unfortunately children pick up on good habits and bad habits. <laughs> so one of the things that I've been trying to do is to make sure that my children pick up on those good habits, especially when it comes to the kingdom of God. Um, one day I was driving with my son, Jeremiah, and he asked if he could have some money. And I was confused why he was asking for money. And then I realized it was a homeless person. And he said, I wanted to give him some money. And so, of course, I gave him what I had in the car. But I realized he now gives homeless people money whenever he sees them. Because he's seen us go out and feed the homeless with the church. And anytime I notice someone who's homeless and I have money on me, I always make sure to give them money. And... That's a trait that I want my son to have, um, to give back to his community, to give back to people who are less fortunate than him, and then to also um, love his love your neighbors. That's one of God's commandments. Um, so children will do what they see you do. Um, and God says in his word to train up a child in the way he should go. And even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Um, you know, children, again, will pick up any of your habits, whether they're good or bad. Um, so when it comes to the kingdom of God, I want to make sure that my children are picking up those good habits. So one of the things I let my children see me do is pray. Um, I pray every morning in the car when we're leaving, going to school. I pray over them. I pray over the car and um, I pray over others um, so that they can one, learn how to pray, and two, make sure that they're putting on their armor every day to protect them. Um, another thing that children should see you do is worship. Let them see you worship. There's times where I'll just bust out <laughs> and start singing, <laughs> and I'll turn on Alexa, and now my uh, five-year-old, he'll come up to me when I'm just singing out loud and singing my praise and worship music. He'll, t he'll come and tell me, Mommy, turn on Alexa so we can listen to the song, too, and we'll just sit there, and we'll all praise God together and, you know, sit and worship in those songs. Um let your children see your intimate time with God, whether that's your prayer wall or your prayer closet. Um, if you have something where you write down your prayers, some people put all their prayers in a um, um, in a jar or whatever it is, however you want to worship or praise God um, or pray. Um, let your children see those things so that they can learn how they want to do it or learn to do those same things when they get older. Um, and like I said before, with uh, feeding the homeless, let your children see you be kind. Um, let them see you be good to other people. Let them see you uh, doing the things that the commandments tell us to do, like loving your neighbor and uh, emulating the fruits of the spirit. You know, being kind, patience, love, all those things. Like, let your children see those things so that they can do those things as well when they get older. And um, the more your children see you do those things, even though you might think it's a something small, like praying in the car or, you know, praying for others when you see them or having a prayer closet or writing down in your prayer journal um, the people that you're praying for, reading your Bible, your children seeing you do those things, they'll pick up those habits and do the same thing. Like first thing in the morning when we're in the car, the children get on their iPads, waiting to drive to school and all the different places. 15 minutes, those first 15 minutes, I make my children get on the Bible app or get on Minnow. Kids, like they need to do something with Jesus first 15 minutes that they're in the car just so I can know that they are spending some time with Jesus. And that's a habit that I want them to learn early so that they can bring that into their adulthood 
and so they can stay stay rooted and grounded in God. Um, also, every night before they go they go to bed, we have them read that out the affirmations. Now, um, I want them to know who, what God says they are, and who they are, you know, in Jesus' name, and um, having them do those affirmations every night, they now get excited about doing those things. Um, that's another way to like just remind your child of who they are in Christ. Um, so do these things. Um, if there's anything that we could do to help you get to these different goals, you can click the link in the description or inbox me on ways that you can get the poster for the children that has um, the different affirmations of what God says they are. And we have tons of different products. We have different cards that you can look at um, that has, uh, those affirmations on them. Um, I have one for teenagers that has the actual scripture as along with the, uh, affirmation. So if there's anything that we could do to help, uh, train your child up in the ways of the Lord or help them on this journey on who God says there are, says that they are, let us help you do that. Um, this is another episode of Conversations with Clarissa and I thank you for joining me and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.